What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are here bringing you guys my first ever Series 2 video for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a very, very strong team that features Fluttermane, Roaring Moon, Iron Moth, and Iron Hands on the ladder. You guys are in no deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But I know exactly what you guys are thinking. Jeans, what are you doing? Series 2 hasn't started yet. Yeah, I know that, but I want to start bringing you guys some teams so you guys can start renting them, practicing, and getting ready for Series 2. Before we get started here with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to team creator Winter Knight. Thank you so much for making this amazing Series 2 team and making it a rental code for everybody to enjoy. It has Fluttermane on it, it has Iron Moth, Iron Hands, and Roy Moon. All amazing Pokemon for Series 2. So hopefully I get to showcase this team to its fullest potential and show you guys why this team is one of the best for Series 2. But let's get started here. In the top left corner, we have the one and only Breloom. Breloom, one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Cannot really go wrong with it. This one's Rock and Technician. Alongside the Focus Sash as its item. It's got Mach Punch, Rock Tomb, Spore, and Protect for its four moves. Second Pokemon, we got Scissor, another Pokemon that I absolutely love. This one's Rock and Technician as well, just like the Breloom with the clear amulet. Then it has Bullet Punch, you turn to pivot out, Terror Blast, and Protect. Third Pokemon, we're getting started with the Paradox Pokemon, Fluttermane. And Fluttermane is arguably the best Pokemon out of all the Paradox Pokemon. It is so good, its stats are absolutely amazing. You have the Protosynthesis, it's just rolling out strong from there. It's got Life Orb as its item, Rock and Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball, Mystical Fire, and Protect for its four moves. Second Pokemon is going to be Iron Moth with the Quirk Drive and the Choice Specs as its item. It's got Heat Wave, Sludge Wave, both for Stab, Energy Ball, and Psychic. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Iron Hands, and everybody has been talking about Iron Hands a lot. Very strong Pokemon in Series 2. Like I said, Fluttermane's probably arguably the best, but Iron Hand is definitely a close second. This one has Quirk Drive with the Assault Vest, and it's got Fake Out, Drain Punch, Wild Charge, and Stomping Tantrum. Final Pokemon is going to be Roaring Moon. A lot of people will say this Pokemon is their favorite Paradox Pokemon. It is not my favorite Paradox Pokemon, but this design is still absolutely amazing. This one has Protosynthesis and the Booster Energy as its item. If you guys do not know what the Booster Energy does, it is a brand new item in this game. It will automatically prop either Protosynthesis or Cork Drive and Booster Stat all the way up. This one has Dirt Chop, Acrobatics, Tailwind, and Protect for its four moves. Looking amazing. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Series 2 team. First match coming at you guys. We're on the casual ladder because obviously Series 2 isn't live yet. Like I said, just want to bring you guys some battles and bring you guys some teams over these next couple days. So when Series 2 is released, you guys are ready to go. You guys got some good rental codes for you guys, but we're going up against a team with no parents. Hopefully we can just rip into them and show the power of the Paradox Pokemon. But the Pokemon that I feel like I should lead is going to be Iron Hands and Roaring Moon. Just seems like to do absolute work. And if he brings in Torkoal, he's going to be in big trouble. Big, big trouble. Because then I can just pop Protosynthesis on my Fluttermane and kind of roll out from there, right? It could be really, really good. So I'm going to bring in my Fluttermane as well. And then last but not least, one of these Pokemon. But I want to check some stats. I want to check some stats considering I never use these Pokemon. And this is why Fluttermane is so good. Look at that special attack stat and look at that speed stat. 205 and 186. Absurdly strong. Absurdly strong. Iron Moth, I think, is a very high special attacker, right? 192 and 178 with speed. Oh my lord. Just insane. 209 attack. This is why these Paradox Pokemon are OP. Series 2 is going to be wild. 187. Dude, these stats are ridiculously strong. Ridiculously strong, but final Pokemon that I want to go into, I'm leaning towards Scissor or Spore Breloom. And I think I'm going to go Breloom. We'll get Iron Moth in the second battle. But Breloom's going to be really good to Spore, Mach Punch later in the match. I'm really liking it a lot. But yo, dude, these Paradox Pokemon stats are ridiculously crazy. Especially if they get their Booster Energy or their uh, Protosynthesis Cork Drive going. It's just game, set, match. Other Pokemon don't stand a chance. They do not stand a chance. But our opponent's going to end up leading... Torkoal. Oh, no, dude. We should get out Fluttermane right now. We should get out Fluttermane right now. Because if you guys do not know, Drought will actually trigger Protosynthesis on any Ancient Form Pokemon, and Electric Terrain will boost Cork Drive on any uh, Futuristic Pokemon. But I believe it's just uh, Booster Most Prominent Stat. And I want to see if it goes in here. No, it doesn't. It just kind of just says that it's heightened. But from here, I can definitely go into a Fake Out. I could set up a Tailwind if I want to. I mean, Tailwind wouldn't be bad. I think we're going to have to take Flame Body damage here. I really don't mind uh, doing it and taking the burn on this uh, Roaring Moon. Because I just want to KO this Volcarona. So if Fake Out comes out here, we're going to chip up some damage onto the Torkoal. Acrobat's going to come through here. Probably KO. No, it does not KO. 
I thought it would do a lot more damage than that. But Bug Buzz coming out here. No flame body, so I'm digging it. They do some mean damage to me. I think we're kind of chilling here. I could set up a Tailwind if I want to. This thing has leftovers. I could set up a Tailwind or I could just straight up attack and KO. Could be the play. Could be the play. A stopping tantrum could come out here. Wow, wait a minute. Look at Iron Hands HP. 261? Who allowed this? Who allowed this? And I could just Acrobats again. But the reason why we didn't do that much damage is because Acrobats is only 55 base power, but it should be able to KO this Volcarona. So I'm just going to go right back into that. Stopping Tantrum onto the Torkoal and Acrobats coming out from Volcarona. And then it's pretty much GG's, I think, because we have Fluttermane in the back end in the sun. That thing's going to come in here, pro synthesize, and just dominate. Like, GG, right? Acrobats fly again. Later, Volcarona. Later. And there's the Flame Body. Okay, I was wondering why it didn't trigger the first time. I think it's an RNG kind of thing. Might be like a 50-50 kind of thing, but it's all good. So we dropped that Volcarona right there. I'm going to go down to probably that burn. Stopping Cancer is going to come out here. It is coverage, but still doing a nice chunk of damage. Hopefully this thing's going for an eruption, which it does. That's totally fine. My boy eats up. But it's definitely really weird. Iron Hands looks like a steel type, considering it is it's just all steel pretty much. But it is actually electric and fighting, which is really cool. But now I can go into Flutter Main right here, because the sun is out and I get a free... Protosynthesis, and if you guys read the bottom, Protosynthesis boosts the Pokemon's most proficient stat in harsh sunlight, or the po or if the Pokemon's holding boost and energy. So its most proficient stat is speed. It is speed. So we're just gonna boost our speed. I wish we could boost our uh, our special attack, and that's what I thought the booster energy would help us out with. But I think it just helps us out on speed because it's most proficient stat, and we'll say it right here. Protosynthesis activates Protosynthesis. Its speed is heightened, so its speed is just full blown going crazy. But from here, I think we just stop and tantrum again. And I could Terrastalize in a straight fire if I want to. But I think I just go straight into Gleams here. Right, get after this Breloom. Do I have any double hitting moves with Iron Hands? I do not. Stop and tantrum is definitely a play all day. Because we know Breloom's going to be sashed. I already know Breloom's going to be sashed. Yo, I could Terrastalize in a fire. And start ripping Mystical Fires. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna save that. Gleam's gonna be four times super effective. Or well, not four times. It's just gonna be super effective onto that uh, Breloom. It's gonna do a crazy amount of damage. Is that me terroring or him? Oh, it is me. I terrored on accident. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> it's totally fine. Everybody makes mistakes. But yo, Fluttermane, I'm telling you guys, arguably the best Series 2 Pokemon. You're gonna be seeing this Pokemon all over the meta. It's just crazy strong. But we end up going into this Dazzling Gleam. Look at that. It was a not very effective shot onto that Torkoal, and it just ripped into it. Just ripped into it. Breloom didn't have Sash. We take out Breloom. Torkoal's dead. It's over. Like, just stand no chance. And now I can rip into Mystical Fires too if I want to. Considering it's in a stun, it's going to do an insane amount of damage. But yeah, it's 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 over. Half the time, you don't even need Tailwind with these Pokemon. Only when you're really going up against other Series 2 Pokemon. Or I should say Paradox Pokemon. Because they're going to match your speed. But if you're not, like... Oh, you don't need to waste a turn using Tailwind. These Pokemon are already fast enough as it is. But Cerulege is going to come out here as the final Pokemon. I'm just going to pop another lovely little Tommy Tantrum. And Shadow Ball should just be able to rip into it. But it's changing type. Let's see what it goes into. If it goes into Fire and Ghost, we cover both of those. So we'll see what it wants to rip into. It's going to go into Fire. So we covered that with Stomping Tantrum. This one's light work. This first match, super light work. Did not even need our breathing. Just our Paradox Pokemon coming out here and getting work done. Shadow Ball is going to fly. Should do a nice chunk of damage onto this thing. Look at that. Look at that. Big time damage over there. Lose some HP to Life Orb. This thing's going to Bitter Blade into probably, yeah. I was going to say Iron Hands. And Iron Hands should be able to soak this. Dude, he's so bulky for no reason. Big bulky. 261. Insane. Absurd. He's going to go back up really high in HP. So we're going to hit this thing with Sonic Tantrum. It's either going to KO or bring it down low enough. I was going to say low enough for my Flutter main to KO next turn. But it just rips through it. GG's. 1 at 0 to get this video started. Paradox Pokemon. Super broken. Second match coming at you guys. Not going up against any Paradox Pokemon. But we're going up against a Greninja. And Greninja stats are amazing. Very strong Pokemon. Hopefully we can get after it. Hopefully we can grab ourselves a win here in match number 2. But our opponent also has Appleton, Murkrow, Toxapex, Dragapult, and Glade. So I'm not going to say it seems bad. But... It has some really strong Pokemon and some strong uh, points on it because it got the Murkrow. It can set up Tailwind pretty well here and get rolling from there. But I definitely want to bring in a Pokemon like Iron Moth. Iron Moth could be good, right? Look at that, look at all those coverages. The speed is very high. It, it looks like it can rip, so I'm 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 with uh, the Iron Moth here. But I'm gonna end up leading 
my Salamence here. Well, not Salamence, my Roaring Moon in this case. I'm going to boost my uh, uh, my speed set, pop a Tailwind, and try to take Speed Control, considering I think Murkrow is going to come out from him. So definitely want to bring that. I'm also going to go in the Flutter main, but I'm not going to lead it. I might lead Iron Maul. Hmm. I could lead Iron Hands again. I could go all Paradox here. All Paradox is looking really well. Oh, yeah. All Paradox is looking really well. Up against all these Pokemon. Let's bring it in here. Gotta bring in the, the Iron Hands for the lead. Such a good lead with the, the Salamence. I can legit fake out a Pokemon. Pop a Tailwind. Kind of roll from there. Get after. I can get after. I might not even need a fake out. It really depends what Pokemon it goes into. So I might not even waste a turn with fake out. Might not even do it. Because again, Roaring Moon's fast enough to just pop Tailwind. But again, it really depends who they go into. Appleton and Dragapult. If my speed is heightened. I can, I can just get after that Pokemon if I want to, right? What do I do here? Got my my booster energy. I could fake out the apple pie. I could if if I, if I want to, but I think I'm just gonna go after the pole, right? Because Worm Moon's not Dragon. It's Flying and Dark, correct? No, it's Dragon and Dark. Dragon and Dark. I thought it was Flying. That's why Acrobats did not do that much damage last turn. But he should be faster, so I could just do that, and I could instead of going for a fake out. Start ripping into Appleton, right? Let's start ripping into Appleton. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to start drain punching into Appleton. Let's see what he does. So, Thrasization is going to come out here first. Smart play. Unless you go in Ghost Typing. That would not be a smart play. It's going to be Fire. So, straight Fire. So, he probably takes out my Roaring Moon, right? But Roaring Moon's going to get off a shot, which is going to be pretty solid for us. I do not really mind it too much. I do not mind. Throw Chop coming in hot here. Picking up some big time damage. He's probably going for... Oh, no. Psychic Fangs. Doing Psychic Fangs into me. That's cool. I'm cool with that because I'm popping a Drain Punch into Apple Pie. Getting a little bit of HP back. And I don't see Apple Pie KOing. Actually, it could KO my Roaring Moon. I always forget that this little Apple Pie is a Dragon type. So we'll see what he wants to do. He's going to Leech Seed me. How dare you? Not cool. Not cool at all. So I get Seeded. That's fine. Uh, again, I outspeed the Pult. I do outspeed this lovely little Pult. So I should just go after it and take it out, correct? I could just take it out. But do I think it's going to protect? There's a possibility that that thing protects. So I would rather go here. But you know what? Screw it. I'm going to go right after it. I'm going to go right after it. I'm just going to rip a Drain Punch. I could stop a Tantrum. No, we're going to do that. No, we, we, we have too much speed on this. We have to go there and then drop a Drain Punch into the Apple Ton again. I'm with it. Dragon Pult does protect. It's all good. It's all good. I feel like it's fine if we if we lose a turn like this. Not doing anything crazy. You're just going to take a little bit of HP from my Roaring Moon. I'm going to get some HP back onto my uh, onto my Iron Hands. And chances are you set up another lead Seed, right? If I had to guess. And then just protect next turn. And I take out your pole. And we kind of go from there. And then I double down into you next turn. Oh, this thing has Ripen. You, mm, you little biscuit. Little Ripen. Look at that. Oh, my lord. Don't you lead Seed me again. Miss it. Miss it. Do I double swap? <laughs> I might have to. <laughs> I'm gonna get my Flutter Mane out here. I gotta get my Flutter Mane out here. I'm gonna take out the pole and get out Flutter Mane. Save my Iron Hands for later. Cannot have this thing just leech seed to me. Look at this. <laughs> it's back to full HP. Flutter Mane, I need you here, girl. Getting that Flutter Mane right on out here. Getting that Flutter Mane right on out here. So from here, I'm just throw chopping this slot and going into straight Flutter Mane. Or I can go in the, I can go in the Iron Hands. Or Iron Moth. Both really good in this situation. Both really, really good. I like you with the choice specs. You can really tail one up and just get after it. You know, yeah, yeah, we're going with the boy. Did we go with the boy? Yeah, you know we're going with the boy. We're going, we, we haven't showcased this Pokemon yet. So he has a put on pull. That's fine. I'm going to on my, my boy right here. And he's going to go with the Glade. Not a bad swap from him. I'm going to swap myself. Just to get rid of that Leech Seed. And then go from there. Imagine if I change to an Acrobat. That could have been nasty play. That could have been a big time play. But Throw Chop's going to fly here. Do some crazy damage on the Glade. That's some big time damage. And Apple Ass is going to fly here. Right into my... Ooh, that's a great swap for us. We four times was just that. Special Defense this drop kind of hurts soul. And Leech Seed is going to poke. But I feel like from here... Uh, do I pop a Tailwind or Iron Moth should just outspeed that, correct? <laughs> Iron Moth is crazy good. 
178, yeah, you should just straight up outspeed. This feels like a, just a free double down in apple pie, right? I could sludge bomb or sludge wave. I think I'm going to sludge wave. Because I don't care if Roaring Moon goes down. I just want to get off as much damage as I can here. We have Ghost Terror. I wish it was Poison. But yeah, I'm just going to sludge wave. Acrobat's going to come out here, get some big time damage. And I do not mind doing damage to my Roaring Moon. Because we're going to pop this and we get off a big time double kill. So Iron Moth with the choice specs, stab, sludge wave. Ripping into our opponents. Say bye bye to both of them. He has pull, and I believe he has one more Pokemon left, right? But dude, Iron Moth's rather tiny. Like, look at that thing. Compared to Roy Moon, Roy Moon's just enormous. But yes, he brought Greninja. That's really cool. So Greninja comes out here. I absolutely love Greninja. And I'm choice into a Sludge Wave now. I'm choice into a Sludge Wave. And Greninja and Pult might be faster than my uh than my Iron Moth. So at this point, I feel like we have to go into a Tailwind. Because the, both those Pokemon are very, very fast. And I do not mind if I KO my Roaring Moon. Again, it's not a big deal. It is not a big deal. But yo, Iron Moth's a real deal. Hits hard. Hits real hard. Water Strike comes out. Wow, you outspeed. You outspeed me like that. That's a little wild. You outspeed my Roaring Moon. Not expecting that. My speed was heightened. So that ends up happening. Dragapult, I'm probably going to go next here. And she's going to Dragon Darts. That's going to KO. Okay, the Dragon Darts flies out here. I still have Fluttermane and and Iron Hand. So I get it for off a free fake out turn, which is huge, which is really big. But yo, Greninja is sick. I cannot wait for that Pokemon to actually be allowed in ranked battles. Series 2, it's not allowed, but I feel like they're planning this one out perfectly, where it's like Series 2, we get all the Paradox Pokemon. Series 3, we're going to probably get like Greninja, Charizard, Cinderace, all of them. And then eventually we can go Series 4 with like Suian Pokemon, Series 5 with DLC. Like it's going, they're, they're, they're putting this out really, really well. But from here, uh, who do I fake out? Gren Gren? Yeah, I'm going to fake out Gren Gren. And I'm just going to pop Gleam. I mean, no reason not to pop Gleam. I do have my Thrasilization, too. And a straight fire. And then, uh, do I really want to use that? No, I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to pop a regular Gleam here. So, fake out's coming out here. Fluttermane should outspeed Pult, correct? Yeah, and that should be GG's. Good game. Let's go. I told you guys. Fluttermane's real deal. Solid second battle. Our opponent gave us a run for the money with that uh, Greninja. But in the end, we just overpowered with Fluttermane. It was GG's. Third and final match coming at you guys. Haven't seen a Paradox team or went up against one in today's video, but it's all good. We're going up against some cool new Pokemon that are still very, very strong. This guy's rocking a Cinderace. We versed Greninja in the last battle. Let's try to grab ourselves a perfect record and just keep dominating with these Pokemon. But who should I go into for the lead and how should I play this one? I feel like they can lead the uh, Primate or the Palafin. So I could go into maybe like a fake out user like Iron Hands, but I'm kind of just straight up leaning towards... Fluttermane as a lead. Fluttermane does so much work up against a lot of Pokemon. So I'm going to go Fluttermane and I'm going to bring my boy Roaring Moon. Just to set up Tailwind if need be. I feel like that can work out super, super well. So I'm going to go into this amazing combo. I am going to bring Iron Moth in the back end just because it has some amazing choice moves. And last but not least, we're not going to be bringing in Iron Hands. We're going to be bringing in a Pokemon more like Scissor or Breloom. Just for first turn priority and uh, getting off some decent damage. But which one do I go into? Scissor's not going to be bad because I can't Terrasize in the water. I can't Thrasilize in the water. That could do some work. I could go into straight breathing, but I feel like we get more value out of Scissor. I'm going to go Scissor here. I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. And we're going to look to grab ourselves a perfect record for you guys for today's video. Like I said, Paradox Pokemon, very strong. Hopefully you guys still enjoy the video, even though we're not going up against any Paradox Pokemon. Like, I, like I've been saying, I just want to bring you guys amazing teams. Amazing, amazing teams. So when Series 2 does come out, you guys got a bunch of rental codes. You guys already know how to play them, and you guys can push the rank ladder really, really well. Our opponent's going to end up leading. There's the Palafin and Glamora. Glamora. You guys seem to love Glamora. Glamora does look pretty sick. But I'm going to go right into you and put us in the size. And I'm already outspeeding these Pokemon. But I feel like a Gleam could just fly, right? I can rip into Glamora. I might just send this Palafin's way, right? And just throw chop to Glamora. Could do that. We could do that. I think Fluttermane has a shot to just one tap this Palafin. Let's see how this one plays out here. But solid damage over on that thing. Toxic Debris is going to come out here. I probably should have thought about that and just hit that with the Fluttermane. And Rocky Helmet's going to do damage, but it's all good. Shadow Ball's going to fire. Probably going to flip turn if it doesn't die, but Fluttermane can do some damage here. Oh, so close. So close. So close. 
Moral spins can come out here. Pretty cool move, and I think I might just poison both of us. How dare you? Really good Pokemon. Lamar is sick. Lamar is real sick. So, I can definitely see a flip turn coming out here. I have a first turn priority move to take that out later. And he's going to go after my Fluttermane. The Fluttermane is going to take damage. It dies next turn, no matter what. It's going to take poison damage here. It's going to take life orb damage next turn. But as long as we can get off one more turn with it, I feel like we're thriving. I feel like we're thriving. But how much damage did we do to Glamour? Oh, I can... Hmm. Lean coming out here for show. For show. Now, do I set up a Tailwind for the rest of the squad? I feel like I have to. I feel like I have to set up a Tailwind for the rest of the squad. I have to set up Tailwind for the rest of the squad. So I'm going to go into a Gleam. He's definitely Terrasalizing, but just in case he doesn't, I'm going to try to set up this Tailwind for, again, everybody else. So we'll see what he wants to do with the play. Smart play would be just to protect Garchomp. In all honesty, and he does not. It's Garchomp is dead. Garchomp is not surviving a Fluttermane. That has Gleam here. That is Life Orb. Later, Garchomp. Get it on out of here. Fluttermane just ripped into that. Let me say bye-bye to you. Wow, that was a surprise. No terrestrialization. No protect. None of that. Fluttermane dies out here. Sorry, girl. You did great. You did great. And now this thing is going to do some damage over onto you and pick up the KO after the poison damage. Okay, so that's fine. That is totally fine. Considering he has Palafin, I have Scissor ready to go. Scissor can bullet punch, outspeed it, and kind of roll from there. But we're both going to be poisoned, which kind of sucks. But at the same... Actually, you can't be poisoned, right, Iron Moth? You are poison type. You are poison type. I can Terrasalize here. Any of my Pokemon. Any of my boys. Good to ask Scissor. It is Water Terra, which is really, really solid. He's going to end up going right back into Palfin. The Palfin comes out here. Do not mind it. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. It's here to here. Come out here. I could Bullet Punch KO. I think it's low enough, right? A straight Bullet Punch to its face. We'll definitely kill it. I don't think we have to Terra here, so I'm just going to kill it with that. And what do I choice into? Heat Wave or Sludge Wave? Sludge Wave has no effect, which is huge. I think we choice to a Sludge Wave here. Like, what's your final Pokemon going to be? Cinderace, maybe? I'm choosing into a Sludge Wave. I'm choosing into a Sludge Wave here. I'm with it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I'm sitting pretty good here. None of my Pokemon got poison. Doesn't affect Steel types. And my Iron Moth is poison. So, worked out really good as our back-end Pokemon. But I wonder what we're going to see from our opponent here. Because Palafin's in a tough spot. Low HP. Did not get that much value out of it. I could just Bull Punch KO. The Bull Punch comes in here. It should KO. It's low enough. Yeah. This thing's gone. Get it on out of here. We're not dealing with that thing. Everybody knows that thing's power with Jet Punch. is just rolling out strong. But I don't think Sludge Wave is going to KO. But it should be able to do a nice little chunk of damage. I just want the choice into a move that was stabbed for this Pokemon. And get after it that way. He's going to end up going into Power Gym. You weren't doing nothing to my Pokemon. Nothing. Actually did a lot more than I thought it would. <laughs> it did. Definitely did. But he's going to go into Cinderace. And again, we have speed. We have speed all all over this thing. And what is your normal speed? Because I know we have Tailwind. And I might just Terra and hit with that thing with a Water Moon. 87. That's... Mm. I think Water terra regardless, is still going to be your play. So yeah, I'm going to Water terra And I'm just going to pop Sludge Wave. All day. All day Sludge Waving. All day Sludge Waving. So finally, I use my Terrasalization. This is exactly why I brought Scissor. I even said it in the beginning. I was like, yo, we got Water Terror. We can get some work done with this thing. I'm going to Terrasalize. We're going to hope that he's popping like a Pyro Ball or something. Into my Scissor to finish it off. But Scissor might be able to outspeed with Tailwind. We know Iron Moth's going first. Popping a big time Sludge Wave. And oh my god, I didn't even realize that. What am I doing? <laughs> I just killed my Scissor. I just killed my Scissor. We know we outspeed, so as long as we can eat up this shot. Wow, I just murked my Sizz. Did I just lose that match? Wasn't even thinking. Pyro Balls can come out here. That nah, we eat that. That's fine. Okay. That's GG's. That's GG's. Okay, cool. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. 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 Almost blew it. I almost blew it. <laughs> wow. That would have been wild. Uh, this thing could have Sucker Punch. It could have Sucker Punch. Okay. Never mind. GG's. Sludge Wave coming out here. Almost blew it. Killed my scissor. I was thinking I wasn't going to hit it, but I changed typings and I just murdered it. I just murdered it in broad daylight. But the reno for today's video got to showcase this amazing Series 2 team. 
What a Series 2 team. I know we didn't get to showcase it up against Series 2 Pokemon. I tried finding some for you guys on the casual ladder, but a lot of people were using Grand Ninja. A lot of people were rocking with Cinderace, and we got to showcase this team to its fullest potential. Fluttermane, Warrior Moon, Iron Moth, Iron Hands, all on this team. Absolutely amazing. Trust me, guys, this team can hang with the best of them. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.